Hey guys, Sean here with Apollo. In this video, we're gonna show you how to change a motor on the Apollo Ghost. To demonstrate this, we have our expert technician, John, walking us through the process. If you follow his instructions, the whole thing should only take you about 15 minutes, so let's follow along. All right guys, so the first step is you take your five millimeter Allen key and we're going to remove the small hook that's at the back of the deck right here. All right, now that that's off, we're gonna proceed by removing the deck. First off, take out the grip tape. Be careful as you don't wanna tear the, those grip tapes, that way you can reapply it and kind of put it somewhere safe. And next, you grab your 2.5 millimeter Allen key and you're gonna have a total of 12 screws to remove the deck. So that's five on each side and one at the bottom, one at the top. Now that all 12 screws are out, you're gonna to want to just put those screws somewhere safe and to lose them. And you can proceed by removing the deck from the scooter. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pop off the deck. Now uh, to do that, you can either use a flathead screwdriver or really anything that can go in between the gap here. So it could even be a set of keys if you don't have a flathead screwdriver at home. So just slide it in between and pop off the deck. And there you go, it slides right off. And now we're going to remove the plastic guards at the back and at the front. At the back, you're only gonna have, need to remove the one on the left side, which means this one, uh, because they're separated, you won't need to remove the right one. Whereas at the front, you're gonna have to remove the whole front one because it's all connected as one piece. Now for the back one, you're gonna have two screws on the top and one on the side. Next, to remove the front tray, you're gonna have four screws on the top, so there's two here that you can see and two on the other side. One on this side here, and you have the exact same screw on the opposite side, on the right side too. All right, and next we're going to proceed by turning the scooter over to have access to the bottom of the scooter. So what you wanna do is fold the stamp down and put the scooter on its side. That way you have access to the screws that are below the scooter. You're gonna have a total of six screws to remove. We're gonna start with the two over here that are holding the cable down. You'll also want to remove those clips from the cable as you might need to replace them and use them on your new motor cable. Next, we're going to remove this screw here which is holding the plastic cover at the back. And we'll do the same thing at the front over here, those three screws. And we'll now flip the scooter back over to have access back to the top of the scooter. Now that your scooter is back up and your stand folded back up too, we're gonna to be able to remove those trays on the front and the back. So the back one should easily come sliding right off. Just be careful as you might, you're gonna have this cable for the lights at the back. And so you just wanna leave it hanging, but don't pull on it too hard. Next for the front, a nice trick I found was turning the scooter, like the wheel towards the left, as if you were turning left, that way you're gonna have some space and clearance here. Now this one might be a bit harder, but you can push that tray right out. And there you go, once again, be careful as you're gonna have a bunch of cables that are all connecting everywhere, so you don't wanna to pull too hard on anything. All right, so the next step, is going to be to disconnecting the motor from the controller. Now a quick and easy way to do this is pull on the motor cable, which is running alongside here. So you just pull it, that way you'll have access and it's easier to pull through. Now disconnect the phase wires and disconnect these ones too. Now this connector, you'll see you'll need to push down on the small clip to get it out. Don't pull on it if you're not pushing on the clip, otherwise you might break the connector. Now I'm pushing and pulling, and there we go. We've separated the motor from the controller. All right, now moving on to the back of the scooter and finally getting the motor off. We're going to pull on the cable here. 
be careful that all those connectors are coming out smoothly without pulling too hard on anything. And there you go, the cable is out. Next, you're gonna grab an 18 millimeter wrench, which you're going to use to remove the bolts on both sides, holding the wheel and the motor to the scooter. Turn anti-clockwise to unscrew on both sides. Make sure that that ring in the inside with the hook that's holding the, the motor to the scooter is away. And now on both sides, the motor will sl slowly start to slide off the scooter. And there you go. All right, so now we're going to start by installing our new motor back onto the scooter. If your motor comes without an inner tube and a tire already installed, please watch our video in the link in the description below. That way you can put the inner tube and the tire back on, as well as the brake disc and everything else. Now we're going to go the same way that we removed it. Now we're gonna have two rings, one that's on the inside, that's without a hook. This one is just flat, and you have one on the outside that's with a small hook here. This small hook is going to go into this small hole that's on the scooter here. And you have the same thing on the other side, so make sure that when you're putting it that ring is in the inside and this goes on the outside. Okay, so now we're going to put the motor back on. Make sure that the disc goes in between the brake pads as you're sliding it back in. And there we go. Make sure that the hook comes into that small hole there. Same thing on both sides. And start by tightening by hand the screws on each side that hold the wheel. Once you've tightened by hand, take back your 18 millimeter wrench and tighten it clockwise to get your wheel nice and tight. Do not be afraid to tighten nice and strong. That's what the washers are for. Next, we're going to pull that wire, that cable, back through the scooter. So you're going to make it go through here and push it forwards until it gets to the front of that scooter there. Now that we've pulled through the cable, we're going to reconnect it to the controller. So we're gonna start with the phase wires. As you can see, there is a small dent here that goes, which is where this part goes in. So make sure you're putting in it in the right way. There we go. And same thing goes for those connectors here. Make sure that this small plastic piece goes into the hole that is here and we'll push it through once you've heard the click it's good to go now that both connectors are connected you're going to want to pull the wire through like this don't be too hard be gentle and that way it's nice and clear over here for the plastic to go back on and you can slide the plast front plastic tray, tray back on here and we'll just leave it as is for now now at the back here this cable is actually a bit too long. It's, this is the way it was made. So we're gonna want to have kind of have a fold like this or a twist. And this is what you put back into the scooter. And you wanna have your cable kind of tight here. And as you put this tray back on, the cable is going to go through this hole here in the plastic tray. And this is where this metal wiring covers and protects it. All right, we're almost done. We're just going to be reattaching all the screws and putting everything back together. Now we're gonna to start with the front tray here. Now you remember you have four screws on the top, the ones on the side and the one on the bottom. The ones on the sides we're not gonna put just yet. We're gonna start with the ones on the top. Now, sometimes this might be a bit tricky with a cable, so make sure all your cables are nice and clear. And you can pull with one hand and then use the screw and the screwdriver to start putting it back in place. If you're, unable to, if you're not able to do it alone, you can ask someone for help and just push on that tray while you're screwing it in. Now that they're tight, we can start screwing the two screws on the side. Thank you. 
And next we'll switch to the back of the scooter and placing the plastic strip back on there too. All right, and on the back here, we've got two screws on the top and one on the side. All right, next we're going to turn the scooter back on its side by folding the stem first. Now that the scooter is back over, we're going to want to reattach all the screws that were at the bottom of the scooter. We'll start by putting the clips back on here that were holding the cable to the scooter. And now we'll put the screws back in at the bottom of the plastic trays. Nice and tight, we'll put the scooter back up front to have access to the top of the scooter and folding back the scooter stem. Now that the scooter is back over, we're going to put the deck back on. And as you put it on, make sure that all holes are aligned. It's better to start crisscrossing, so doing one here, then doing one here, then one here, then one here, before tightening everything. Just that way everything is in place. Now that all 12 screws are tight, we can put on the hook back. Make sure that it's nice and tight. And finally, we just have the grip tape to put back on. And that's it guys, we're done. And that's it guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any other questions though, feel free to reach out to our support team for more assistance. As always, be sure to like and subscribe for more scooter related content and ride safe. Thank you.